Hey, what's up, guys? Demetrio Dimitris Kopelita here. Today, I want to talk about uh, NAM files. What does it mean, NAM files? NAM stands for uh, Neural Amp Modeler. The extension is .NAM. Became popular because probably it's very easy to make those files and uh, to share them. Basically, we're going to learn how to make NAM files from scratch, cloning your amp and uh, turn it into a VST instrument or using that for your uh, modeler and pedal board. So let's start. As you can see here on my screen, uh, this is the link, neuralampmodeler.com. Here you have two possibility. Uh, the first one is uh, create and the second one is to play. Basically, we start first with create and then we go to play, but at the same time, you can actually download the installer for the player because you will need that in your DAW later on to uh, recall the files that we're going to create. I'm going to create, uh, get started online. Basically, you go to the main um, app, which is via browser, so there is nothing to download except for the player for uh, your DAW. Here, you can see you have three different steps. Step number one is get data. Step number two is train, so basically cloning the amp. Step number three is downloading the .nam file and then export it and use it uh, in your uh, plugin or in your modeler. Why I'm doing this is because I decided that with the new album, which I'm uh, mixing those days, I want to create uh, all patches and profiles and uh, clone of my amps and make it public and uh, release it on the internet. So let's start with step number one, get data. You need to download this DI, which is called input. So you click on it. And you download it. It's a short clip with some impulses that you need in order to create uh, the patch. Okay, so it's downloaded now. You want to open your DAW. In uh, my case, I use Cubase 9, which kind of outdated, but still works pretty good. So let's do create empty and then we import uh, the DI, which now is in the download uh, folder, which is here and it's this here, input one. Uh, it's gonna be 48 kilohertz and 24 bits and we need to keep it the same. Here we go. Let me just check that everything is all right here. Uh, yep. Yeah. All right. So, if you want to listen to this, it's pretty funny. When I'm going to do my pack, I'm going to clone my amps. Now, to make it faster and smoother in the video, I'm going to use a plugin. So, in this case, I'm going to use, let's say, Ampbox. Of Mercurial Audio, which is my favorite plugin, and probably my favorite amp is going to be 6160, which is the emulation of the 5150, of course. And we're going to use uh, my preset for doing this, which is here at Disco Polite Rhythm 60N, which by the way, you find it when you download the software from mercurial.com. There we go. Uh, we remove the cab because absolutely you shouldn't use the cab. In fact, you're going to use the cab when you import that in your player or when you after you import it in your modeler. So we remove the cabinet and you know what? We remove the gate as well because I'm experienced that with the camper, if you use the gate, sometimes you're going to have some troubles. So in order to avoid troubles, we switch off the gate as well. So it's going to sound like this. All right. And then that's it. Then basically you just... Uh, export it when you export it you need to make sure it's in uh, a mono 48 uh, kilohertz and 24 bits all right i'm going to export it in the same uh, 
folder where input is just because it's practical. Let's do it. Okay, so we can close here. Now we go back to the main uh, workstation. So you did the reamp. Now you need to upload your files. So you need to upload input uh, and output on the folder, which is this one here. There we go. So those files are into downloads here. You see input and output. You're going to import them here. They are going to get thing imported. Yes. So now it's time to train, train parameters. You have everything here. You can write down the name of the model 5150. Okay. Let's do that. 5150, whatever, uh, model by, uh, Dimitri and, uh, gear make all those things you can just decide. And then it's going to be like probably gear make Inspiria. Uh, gear model uh, is uh, 5150, um, let's say uh, Mercurial and blah, blah, blah. So then uh, here you have the epochs, which basically uh, they give an indication of the quality of the uh, profiling or cloning and uh, 100 is just fine you can go up to how much you want it doesn't really uh, overwhelm your cpu so you can decide how much you want 100 is okay to make an example so we keep going and then basically you need to click here on this play icon and then you do a run anyway and now it's gonna take around 10 minutes You have the time here, executing nine seconds, 10 seconds, and you just uh, need to wait a little bit. It takes about 10 minutes to do this uh, profile or clone of the amp. Basically, you can see here, this is the graphic that represents the accuracy of the cloning, which is pretty close to the original. Of course, in terms of sound to us, to human beings, it's gonna be the same, but you can see here. And this is about the epoch. Now, the next step is going to be basically to check the result and download your model. And you can do it from this folder here, which is called exported models version zero. And then you go here, you have the model here, model.nam. And you can download it. All right. And then we find it here on the download. Uh, folder let's go and try it out on our dough which is cubase all right so let's uh, open a random project open a track And let's import the DI, whatever DI from my library. Let me see, we can import something from the new album, which is here, audio. Let's pick up a random one. Just open chords, whatever it is. All right, let's open uh, the NAM plugin which is called Neural Amp Modeler. There we go. Select model. So we go to the download uh, folder. We import the NAM file. There we go. Now it's gonna be without cap. Of course, sounds not good, but we're gonna add an impulse response. Let's import this, Marshall. 
This is just a random one. Sounds pretty good. Actually, it's, uh, I'm very impressed. Okay, let's try to play over that. To do this, I'm using an Inspiria HL7. Check it out on InspiriaGuitars.com. The profile is crazy good. Of course, this is a preset that I already worked on because it's my preset from uh, Ampbox. But I'm very impressed by this neural amp motor actually. You know, this is. Uh, this is just a rhythm uh, sound. If you want to add some delay or whatever, you can do that in your dough. Let's say I want to use a delay. Now let's use this. It's pretty random, it's too much, but yeah. Okay, a little bit of reverb. Just random now. Let's increase the gain to get a little bit more uh, lead channel out of that. You can increase the input, I guess, and you're going to get a little bit more gain. Yes. So at the end of the day, I think this uh, neural amp modeler is excellent and it's for free, which is a game changer. That's why all those NAM files became so popular because it's very easy to make them and it's very easy to play them and it's very easy to share them. So basically, I think that's why all the big modelers, they are actually opening to the possibility to import those NAM files on their uh, platforms and devices. So I think my pack my sound pack, which will be coming together with my new album, uh, is gonna be containing NAM files, it's gonna be camper files, it's gonna be hot tone CLO patches and regular patches, hot tone Ampere 1 and Ampere 2, and then of course Tone X, and I'm gonna expand to all the main uh, platforms and modelers. All right, so. This is it. I hope this is uh, useful for you like it is useful for me. 
And uh, thank you very much for following me. And I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe and ring the bell. Thank you so much. See you soon. Bye.